Motor City Street Dance Academy, the place of hip hop, uh, the place where we teach the youth the authenticity of hip hop, you know, and there's no fake and there's no, you know, we teach, we're teaching from like a heart uh, position. You know, we teach breaking, uh, popping, DJ and graffiti, key main elements of hip hop, and um, we just want to spread that knowledge because a lot of people don't get that, you know. And you're not gonna get it from TV. You're not gonna. Get, you might get it from YouTube if you search and you know what you're looking for. But other than that, like, there's nothing really in the city for kids, at least, to gravitate towards and have something positive to look at. You know, so we, we represent the positivity in hip hop. We literally did start from a space of just, we'll just work, we'll just get down and dance wherever we can, so now it's you know, fully laid out, so it's, it's, a, it's a daily, it's something I just come in and appreciate. Apparently there's six of us, uh, three are full-time staff, which is me, executive director, and then two program coordinators, um, Shane and Dantes, and then I have three contractors that teach fitness, art, and yoga. We have 32 kids enrolled through the week, so they're in all kinds of different jobs. So all the kids are different ages that are enrolled, so that 32, they're all, they go from as young as four years old all the way up to 24. So a lot of the kids, a lot of our you know, youth around this neighborhood were uh, low income, heavy immigrant um, population around here in Southwest Detroit. You know, there, there's all this like, you know, uh, nervousness and, and sense of like, I have to do it because they, they know the story of their mom, they know the story of their dad, they know we all the sacrifices. And the last thing they want to do is let them down. And they carry that with them, with them on the floor. Um, the biggest thing is that when, when they do fail, they feel like it's the world fell apart. You know, it happens. They do, you know, we do fail. Everything we attempt, it's, it, it should be expected that we aren't gonna like hit it out the park the first time and everything, but that's the mentality that weight weighs on them. And I think that's where mentally what this does is they're like, they try and move and they fail and they realize, oh man, I wasted my time in doing this. And they pick up that perseverance and translates in the, all right, it helps them like, oh, things do go wrong. I could still keep going from here. I could still keep going further. First, I didn't like, like our cousin after, if I kept messing up, I'd get angry at myself. But as soon as I came in here, I was like, "Oh, I don't have to, I don't have to um, get angry at my mistakes." Cause like Bob Ross says, it's happy mistakes. Like you kind of like you kind of see like them building their confidence. You feel the, like you see them like growing as well, and like in the visuals, like in, in character as well. It's. It's not just like the art, it's not just like the practice or just learning, but it's also like, it's also building character as well. Whatever, however they, whatever they choose to do with it, whether they follow it as a career path or they just do it as a hobby through wherever they're going, it's like I want them to be able to understand like, you know, that this can really be a positive influence just beyond a hobby, just beyond competition side, it's a lifestyle, it's a culture.